What I'd like to show you today is the Bacharach MGS402 controller unit, which we have set up here in this demonstration unit. And here it's connected to two MGS410 detectors. Typically these would be mounted remotely in different areas and the controller would be mounted somewhere centrally. What I'm going to show today is the connection of this detector, which is set up for 5,000 parts per million CO2. I'm going to connect to it with the Bluetooth app, and then I'm going to set it into low alarm and then high alarm to show the various alarm indications that you see on the 410 detector itself and on the 402 control unit. So I'm going to slide my phone into view so that you can see what's happening and I am going to activate the Bluetooth on the 410 with the magnet. You get a single chirp just to say that you have activated the switch and then you will get a heartbeat chirp to indicate that the Bluetooth is communicating. There's the Bluetooth communicating there so I will press the Bluetooth on the app, allow my phone to be visible it is now searching for the device, and there is the device there, which I will click on and connect to. So here we can see in the app 1300 parts per million CO2 in my home office right now, which is quite a high level, but I have been sitting here all day, and you can also see it here. It has a green ring around it, which says that the status is OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply gas to this detector and it will go into low alarm at 2000 parts per million and high alarm at 4000 parts per million. And we'll watch the status change on the app, on the detector itself and on the controller. So to apply gas, I'm going to use the calibration cap, which simply slots on there and I'm going to start to apply gas. So you will see the reading on the screen of my phone here start to increase. Also here where I have my phone indicated on the screen. And you can see it start to rise already as the gas level is being picked up by the detector. When it passes 2000 parts per million, you will see the app, the detector and the controller go into their low alarm state. And there it is right there. On the app, there is an amber circle around the level. It says status low alarm, a solid light on the 402, and an LED and audible alarm on the 410. We'll just continue to apply gas, watch the level of it go up on the app, on the app on the screen, which is the live reading from the phone. And once it passes 4000, you will see the different alarm state of both of, of all three of the app, the 410 and the 402. It will shortly go into the high alarm and you'll see that you will get a red circle on the app and it will say status high alarm. So you'll notice this over here as well. There it goes, it's into the high alarm stage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shut off the gas right now. As the gas shut off, I'll remove the cap. You can see the flashing light all the way around the edges of the 402 flashes and gives its audible sounding intermittent as well. You can also see on the 410, you have the flashing LED. It's giving its sounder as well. And on the app, it says the concentration, and it also has a red circle around it and status high alarm. As this starts to drop down below the 4000, it comes out of the high alarm stage and goes into the low alarm stage, where again, you can see the amber circle on the app. You can see the status low alarm. You have the flashing LED on the 410 and the 410 sounder and the solid LED on the 402. We'll just let it continue to drop. It will then drop from 
its low alarm state into its OK state and you'll see the alarm levels go away. The alarm on this device is set as unlatched and that's why when it drops back into a low alarm state it comes um, off high alarm and similarly when it drops out of low alarm it will go back into the OK status. Sometimes it needs to drop quite a little bit, maybe 15-1600 before it will actually drop out of the low alarm state before it goes to its OK status it will drop quite a little bit down. And there you can see it's dropped out of its low alarm state. Everything is functioning as normal on the 402 and on the detector itself and also in the app where you have the CO2 reading, status OK and the green circle all the way around indicating that the status is OK. Simple demonstration, very powerful alarm indication on the 402 and on the 410 so that anyone who is in the area or walking past or is responsible for this system would clearly know that there was an alarm condition.